Hi friends of the Nutanix University channel, Dwayne Lessner back here with a video on showing you what you can do as you move your applications onto NC2 on Azure. If you happen to be running Nutanix files, maybe you're backing it up to Azure or using it for a VDI deployment, you may have company data there that you want to extract and use with Azure OpenAI. So let's dive in, look at a diagram of our environment and then see it in action on how we can use files along with Data Factory and Azure OpenAI to get more insights into your company data. Let's dive in. Here in our Azure environment, we have a setup deployed with Flow Gateway HA which includes the use of a route server. The route server is going to allow us to advertise all of our routes from our Flow Virtual Networking user VPCs, which is an overlay to the rest of the Azure environment. In the video, we will see a route that allows any traffic going to 10.79.3 to go to the Flow Gateway, and then it'll go to the appropriate subnet. This subnet here is a native Azure subnet. Running in it, we have our AD and DNS. We also have a VM installed with self-hosted integration runtime, which is used by Data Factory. Data Factory is going to help us copy data from files into blob storage, which we can then use with OpenAI. We also have a private link set up so we can get private uh, secure access to Data Factory. This is our Prism Central in Azure that was deployed through the portal. We have a file server already deployed, Biz AI. We have one share, uh, SMB. It also could do NFS. We have it uh, as raw data. We have some data loaded so that we can gain further insight when we load this information into Azure AI. If we go into our networking, this is deployed in uh, overlay network on our Azure bare metal. So we have our transit VPC, which allows north and southbound connectivity. Our file server deployed in a user VPC called Acme Services. We can tell by the route. So our file server is deployed into this subnet. We have a route that will go through the no NAT or routed path. So anything 10.79.3 will go out the no NAT and be able to talk to all of our Azure services. And so in if we go into our Azure portal, so we have Data Factory, which is going to help us move that data. And if we go into networking, we're using a private endpoint. That private endpoint has already been set up, Data Factory 10.79.3. So it's within our Azure environment. We're talking securely to our services. Now, if we go into our virtual networks, we see that we have this management subnet. We see where our Prism Central is deployed, Azure Bare Metal, Delegated, and we have the SQL subnet, which really has all of our uh, the self-hosted integration virtual machine that we're using to help move the data. We have DNS located there, and our private endpoints are also there. You see here we have inbound and outbound private DNS. We have uh, private DNS resolvers. So in our own internal DNS, we can ensure that we're talking to all of the other Azure specific services that may be needed. And uh, now we can go back into Data Factory, go to Overview, we can launch our studio. So here you can create jobs, they can be one time or you could have them, you know, every hour, as an example, copy or ingest data. So most of the Azure AI services want Azure specific locations to upload your data. So we'll do a one-time copy job. Our source will be our file server, which we can use the file server source type. 
we have it already set up. We'll do an edit here. So if we edit this, we see that we're using one of the IPs of our file server. Um, it will redirect to the appropriate file server to get access to uh, this data where we have two data sets uh, listed and we have the appropriate information from acme.corp. Cancel this. <clears throat> Um, and then the self-hosted integration was installed on a native Azure VM, which has access to our file server and the rest of the Azure services. And so that's already been set up for us. Now we can browse to the file path that we want. In this case, the we have our data sets here. So we're going to do the whole folder, so we'll just leave it blank, but we can see we have character battles and salary prediction. Now we'll hit next. This is all fine. Hit next. So now we pick our destination. We have Azure blob storage. We have the connection to our blob storage already set up. So we just have to wait for this enable interactive to finish loading. Now that it's enabled, we hit next. It'll test our connection to make sure that everything is working. The connection is fine. So we're picking the, the root of the directory. So we'll place everything in Azure files. Hit OK. It's empty. We'll hit Next. Uh, these settings are fine. Hit next. Get a little readout. Hit next again. Now our data is being copied and we're finished. So now that we have data in blob storage, we can go to Azure AI and start gleaming some insights from our data. So here we'll open up open AI. We'll open our studio. Now we can add in our own data. So we'll go to chat. We'll add data in. We'll add our data source. Our data source is blob storage. Pick our resource. Azure files. Acme search. Uh, we'll give this index a name. We'll call it superheroes. Hit next. Uh, this chunk size is fine. We'll load that data. Save and close. Once it's ingested and indexed, we'll be able to query the information. So the data set is superheroes. There's over 200 superheroes that we can then start asking questions. Uh, you know, you could imagine this being your own uh, company data where you maybe you want to get further insight into what you're doing or how to redirect your business or ask interesting questions that may be hard to get answers for. While that's running, we can take a look at the two files that it, we have loaded. So, so we have, this is our running off of a, the native Azure VM, where in our test directory, our, so here's our file server, raw data. We have our two data sets that are currently, that were moved over and being indexed. We pop back over. Uh, the indexing has finished. Now that we have our data loaded, we can start asking interesting questions. Who would win in a 100 meter race, Flash or Iron Man? There you have it. Flash would win in a 100 meter race. So we'll ask one more question. Who is stronger, Wonder Woman or Superman? And based on their average strength, it looks like Superman has the higher average strength. We found our winner. We can lay everything to rest. 
So this is just an idea on how you can get data from files. You can replicate your files data from on-prem, get it into Azure, and then not only have a way of backing it up using Azure, but then also have ways to further your business along. There is endless opportunity with NC2 on Azure and Azure's AI services when you combine them together. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.